I was born in Iran and then I came to UK. I went to UK when I was 10. So I was very young when I left Iran, but I was always studious. I loved science. Like when I was, since the age of five, I was reading science books. When I went to school, I couldn't speak a word of English. I, could, I didn't even know what yes meant. <laughs> so a week after I arrived in UK, I went and I went into the classroom and I couldn't understand anything. So it was very challenging for me. But six months later, I started to, I was able to understand very well. I could speak a lot. And, and so it, it, you know, I was very determined right from the beginning. Um, also because we came from Iran and we didn't have the opportunities that we had in UK. My mom was, my mom is a very strong person and she sort of, um, we, I come from a big family and it was very important for all of us to do well because now, you know, we came to a country where we, we had the opportunity to finish school, to go to higher education. So, she, you know, she uh, was, um, she made sure that we, um, sort of finished that education and we did well. After I finished school, I um, did a biomedical science degree um, at King's College London and I specialized in neuroscience. And because I really enjoyed not on neuroscience and neurodegenerative diseases, I decided to research in that field. So I then um, studied a PhD in uh, biochemistry um, and I was where I was researching prion diseases. So that's sort of like mad cow disease, um, CJD. Um, and then following my PhD, I, um, I, then, I then did an internship, but that internship was very brief. It was in Gran Canaria, working for a cosmetic, in, uh, cosmetic company. Uh, but then I, um, I applied and I got um, accepted to do the physician assistant course. Um, so I then came back and I studied that for two years.